So many of us would love to live a life of travel and adventure on the open road. But the big question is, how do you actually make money when you're traveling? Today, we're about to meet an inspirational young family who have not only created a gorgeous home on wheels, but also built a mobile business that allows them to sustain their lifestyle. Hey Bryce, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Yes. G'day Mike, Bryce, how you doing mate? How you doing? This bus just looks so cool. Thanks. Appreciate it. It actually looks pretty big. What size is it? Uh, it's 35 foot long. Uh, it's about seven and a half to eight foot, I believe, wide inside. It's like 10 and a half foot with the solar panels on top. And how long have you actually been living in the bus now? We've been in it for about a month and a half. That's actually not so long. How no. are you finding the beginning of the adventure? <laughs> you know what? There's a learning curve, of course, but we are really enjoying the freedom and um, the ability to be able to do this. So it's awesome. The initial, I think, inspiration was we travel a lot with our photography, and I was actually given the opportunity to travel to New Zealand to photograph a couple. And I drove around in a camper van for about four weeks, and just being able to be a photographer full time, always having the camera in my hand was just, it was an awesome experience. And I wanted Mike and Bryce to have that, that feeling and that experience as well. So when I came back, I brought that to Mike and said, hey, why can't we live full time on the road? Why can't we live and work full time on the road? We can change our lifestyle. We can bring Bryce with us. It'll be an amazing experience for him and we can make it work. We can downsize. We were living in a big house that we just didn't use. And he was a little hesitant at first, but um, once he got over the fear of it all and I convinced him that we can actually make it work, he, he was on board. So it took us about seven months to, to complete the bus. Uh, you know, I was a little fearful at first. I'm a very calculated person and I have to know what's ahead and doing something like this was just really outside of my comfort zone so we really needed to step out and you know live by our our motto which is be bold and seek adventure and uh, i think we're totally doing that i really love how you've got the name of your business on the bus as well because it's not just your home and your mobile office it's also a traveling billboard for your business isn't it exactly right. yeah mm -hmm. and that's what we wanted you know we um designed the logo for the outside and like you said it's a traveling billboard it's great advertising and since we're wedding photographers we can shoot anywhere and we want to shoot weddings all over the country so it's perfect so you've got the solar power on the roof mm -hmm. this bus is designed to be completely off the grid it is yeah 100 percent. we have water we have running water all of that can be pretty much supported by the solar we do have to watch what we're using but it can all work off the grid which is great right and I see this picture that you've got right by the door there. Who is this? So this is my mother's mother. Her name is Georgia, and so we named the bus after her. She was my, my yaya, which is Greek for grandma. So we definitely wanted to honor her in that way. So this is Georgia. This is our Georgia Blue. From the outside, this bus is super cute. I am really interested in seeing what you've done inside. Awesome. Come on in. All right. Thank you. Oh, this is beautiful. Appreciate it, thanks. Stepping in here, it really just feels like walking into a house, doesn't it? That's exactly what we wanted. <laughs> yeah, we wanted it to be, you know, simple yet functional. We just needed to really do the things that were gonna work for us. Um, we're still figuring that out. Yeah, so, you know? <laughs> every day. Every day. But it's definitely cozy, that's what we wanted. Yeah. You know, especially for Bryce, our nine-year-old, we wanted to make sure that he didn't feel like there was this huge change um, as far as going from a house to a bus. Yes, we're living in a bus, but we still want it to be home for him as well. So being comfortable was very important. So when you were actually going through the design process of the interior fit out, what were the most important things for you? I wanted a lot of light. You know, we wanted to make sure we kept all the windows in the bus as many as we could because we really wanted all that natural light to come in. And also just bringing in little comforts, you know, um, personal items and things like that. That was really important as well. And what about the business? Because that adds a, another complete dynamic to it, doesn't it? That you're also actually running a business from inside here. It's not just a home. I think Wi-Fi has been our only issue that we've had uh, running the business, but it's awesome that we can take our business anywhere we want. We're completely mobile. You know, we've shot all, of, all over the country anyways. And so to have our house with us wherever we go, it's just awesome. 
And as photographers as well, you're quite lucky because it's not like you have to have a whole ton of equipment in order to do your job. Do right, you? right, yeah. Everything we need is stored underneath the couch, actually, yeah. so it's great. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty compact. Yeah. So this couch also has storage underneath, but also doubles as, as our son's bed. We have this table over here that acts as a dining room and a Uno a good, table. Yeah, and good a workspace as well. Workspace, yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's very functional. Um, it folds down and kind of gets out of the way. And, um, when we need it to, and uh, yeah, it's, it works, been working well so far, so. And then through here, we have your kitchen area, and this is beautifully done. Yeah, we're not big cooks, so we just need something very basic, very minimal. We did want, obviously, some counter space to cook and to do other things, so Mike measured it out, you know, to fit the couch as well as the countertop. So what's the ceiling height in the bus here? Because I'm just too tall to be able to comfortably stand up in here. Is it all right for you guys? So yeah, it's literally probably, uh, I, I don't know the exact height, I, had, I haven't measured it, but it's gotta be above 6'1". I'm 6'1", and I mean, I am literally, just, you know, just clear it. Yeah. So um, that was something that we considered when I built up the floor to, the, to put the insulation down. And it's hard to look past the copper sink. Aren't these beautiful? Yeah, that was one of my favorite things that I've purchased for the bus. Um, I really wanted something different. So the copper sink was definitely my my choice, um, which I love. And what about the storage in this kitchen? Do you have enough space for everything? So we definitely have enough storage. We have a lot of our pots and pans and things that we use every day here. The refrigerator is also underneath the counter. And then we actually have a lot of space and storage in our pantry slash uh, clothes closet it over here behind you. Oh my gosh, these doors are just beautiful. Yeah, these are custom made mic doors. So yeah. well, we wanted um, we wanted barn doors in here originally for both sides, but you figured out pretty quickly that that wasn't something that was gonna yeah, work. Yeah, just the way it was set up, the barn doors needed to slide out and beyond certain points. And just the way that the setup was, we, we weren't able to do that. So we just went with the next best thing and they work great. And then the bathroom's in here, right? It is, yeah. So we have a compost toilet on this side. And a lot of times when people do school bus conversions, they'll do a shower on one side over the wheel well, and then the toilet on this side. We chose to do the closet pantry option. And a lot of people are real wary, I think, when you, hear, when you say compost toilet, but we've had no issues with it. And again, it's what works and what's efficient for us. And so it was, it was really easy to get used to. Excellent. So in the back here we have our bedroom and it's just a bed. That's all we need in. Um, that's all the space can handle. And we have a dog. We have a large dog <laughs> that likes to join us too. And then it looks like you've built some extra stuff on that side of the bus as well. Yeah, in the back we have um, what's called the garage. So we have all of our bikes, the solar unit is back there, and just kind of anything we need not to be, um, you know, out in the open is, is back behind this wall. And we do have some storage under the bed. The bed's lifted and we've utilized all that space underneath the bed as well for towels and sheets and just anything else that we don't need immediately. So another really cool feature that we left was the emergency exit. So it's really good for checking on the solar. We can pop our heads out or even when it's just pitch black out or in the middle of nowhere, we can check on the stars. It's really cool. Yeah, Bryce really that. loves that. So. And in the daytime, it allows some pretty awesome light to come in. Mm -hmm. You know, you, I mean, it can be pitch black in here. You open that thing up and you can sit back here and read or do whatever work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you've both actually done all of the work in this conversion yourself, haven't you? Yeah, I had a buddy help me with framing the walls out originally. But yeah, the, the rest of it, uh, her and I did. So it was, uh, it was daunting. And when she originally brought the idea to me, it was like, what? You know, but I, I knew I, he could it, do it. He's handy. He's a handy guy, and he was able to just kind of make it work and figure things out. And what about the cost of this conversion? Was it expensive? I think we have about, when it's all said and done, probably about fifteen thousand dollars into it, and that includes the the cost of the school bus. We paid twenty five hundred for the so. bus, and uh, we really lucked out with that one. Yeah, it just kind of all fell in our hands. It was kind of crazy how it worked out. Yeah. And what about the day to day costs of living in this bus as a traveling family? Yeah, you know, it'll probably take another month or so before we actually figure out what it's costing us on, on a monthly basis. But I think not having a mortgage, not having bills that we may not necessarily have needed, it's definitely cut down our expenses. Um, I just, like you're saying, I think we just have to kind of really focus on what is still needed and what's not, what's excessive and what's not. And we're getting there. We're still figuring that stuff out. You're traveling as a family. Bryce is nine years old mm -hmm. right now. 
how is he adapting to life on the road? And was it a big decision to actually undertake this kind of journey with a nine-year-old? I think he is doing awesome. He's very adaptable. We know there's a lot of people that when they have a kid, they really change their life and to revolve around the kid. Well, we've just kind of brought him into our life and our lifestyle, if that makes sense. And so he's really good with most of our decisions. Exactly. So he actually was a big influence as well, not only bringing our business on the road and changing our lifestyle um, to live more intentionally and more purposeful, but it was also to give him this life and these opportunities that he wouldn't have living in a stationary place in a neighborhood. So that's real. that was really actually one of the main reasons why. You know, living this lifestyle, it's different. It's going to shape who he is. Yeah, these experiences are are so in, important for him yeah. and uh, that's that's what you know what we wanted for him. Road schooling is the best education you can give. It's life experience and he's gonna learn so much more than just reading the book or telling him about it. You know he's actually gonna see and experience these things he would be learning like sitting in a classroom so that's really cool. And we get to make up you know road schooling we get to make up our own electives you know if we want to do like Survival. A survival <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> yeah, we can do that, which is something I'm definitely doing. Yeah. But, you know, things like that. Just, uh, it's important. Yeah, and you learn different, you know, you, you meet different people and how they live. And so for him to see different landscapes and the history of all that, that is just huge. It's huge for his, for his life. Drawing the school bus is, um, it's amazing. Some of my favorite things are um, experiencing new things and being on the bus with these guys. <laughs> and um, I'd rather travel and have these adventures than live in a house and have a room. Yeah, definitely. And I think for us, knowing that and to share with other people, you don't have to live this life that everybody else is living. If there's a certain way you want to live, just go for it. Do it now. You don't have to wait until you're 70 to travel or to do things that you want to do. It's really important to do these things now. You know, life is really precious and we want to be intentional with what we're doing and the decisions that we're making. And we just really felt like we weren't doing that. You know, we were living this life because that's kind of what was expected of us. But when we finally had that awakening where, hey, we can we can kind of fine tune this and we can make this ours and we can make these experiences the way we want to make them for our family and what works for us. And we really want people to know that, that it's okay, that you can be bold in your decisions and you can seek adventure and find those dreams and passions and you can do it now. You have both built such a beautiful home here and I'm really impressed with how functional you've made the space to accommodate not only a family of three plus a dog but also your traveling business that is really impressive. Thank you so much for sharing Thanks this all so with me. Thanks so much Bryce. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you. Liz, Mike and Bryce have built so much more than just a beautiful home in the school bus conversion. They've built a lifestyle that allows them to travel and explore the world as a family all while running a successful business. Many people would consider that kind of lifestyle aspirational, but this family has shown that it's absolutely possible.